William Lyons' son had two cars. Right. Okay. Yeah. Two on Lyons. This was his first car. It's his 21st birthday present. Right. This was his second car. 1951. He used an RAC rally. 1955 or 53. 55. 55. 55 got this. Then 1955, he's on his way to Le Mans. And I learned something fascinating from Michael Turner. He came out of a petrol station next to Le Mans and he was really hassled. The reason he was hassled, this isn't printed. He had the trophy, the motorsport trophy, in the car in the Mark 7, and the customs had held him up. So he was really late and hot. He was in a hurry. Up the hill and alongside the road, ran into the American military bus, the Mark 7, and it killed him. Oh dear. So this car lay for three years before it was sold to an American military guy, and then it went to the States. And being American military, the guy wrote down <laughs> every single thing he did to it. So we still got the logbook from the car. Then he sold it to his pal who was in the military. And then it went to one other American that I don't know. And then it went to Japan. And then Chris Keith Lucas brought it back. Right. And he brought it back to get it back into that condition there. Okay. That's amazing. Is that its original color? That's its original color. In Japan it was red. Was it? <laughs> no, Norman Jewish was Jaguar Works test driver. Right. We did 174 in Italy. I know. Testing 120s. <laughs> That's the black one with a bubble on it, the yeah. Respects bubble. But he was just, he's just told us there, he said, um, they wouldn't take the 174, you had to have two two runs. So when he finished the run, his average was 172.4. I mean, how, how old is he? He's 94, is he? 94. And he comes out, his memory sharp in the mind. Yeah. So these are the Lions family cars, founder of Jaguar. Look at them, they're well. They're all well. Lions family. Lions family. Do you own them now? Are you the owner? Colin owns the black one. Yeah. I own the green one. Hi, good morning. Hello. So, this is a gorgeous XK. This is an XK120 fixed now. It's a very early one. 1954. <laughs> I like your, your beautifully restored wire wheels, don't they? Really add to the vehicle, it's gorgeous. It's obviously been replaced, resprayed, not terribly. Yes, it has, yeah. It's been fully restored. Was it originally black? It was originally black with red leather. With red leather, and that's, so that's currently so it's a 1950s XK Jaguars. Um, the figure after the XK indicates the presumed top mileage. So the XK, if I'm not insane, so the XK120 was presumed to be 120 mile an hour car. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, very, very, very nice. 120 miles an hour, 1954, phenomenal speed. Um, the sort of speed that 1973 litre Capris were, were making decades later. Um, have you been around the show? Around the. Uh, have you been inside? Inside, yes. No, very. What do you I think of that? Staggered by the collection. The only thing is, I couldn't find another one of those in there. It must have been tucked away up on the, uh, the lifts somewhere. There was a 140 fixed head, and there was a, a 140 roadster, but I couldn't see a drop in. And this is yours. Yeah. Could you tell us um, something about it? I've I've only owned, owned the car for two years. Right that it was built 1955 yeah taken off the road in 1967 i believe when it failed the mot All right. and, and then was put into storage in a very wet garage in wimbledon so it rotted in away South London, it rotted away uh 1989 a gentleman who was in the oil industry up in scotland bought the car right how he found out about it, I don't know. But I've got photos of it going on the transporter up to yeah. um, Scotland. And he didn't have time to work on it at that stage. So when he bought it in 1989, he put it then into storage. Right. 
as it was and it stayed there until 2001 when he finally got round to getting the company Classic Restorations at Perth in Scotland. So it's been professionally do done. Form. So it has been then professionally done. When the restoration started it was white with a red interior okay. although as it is now British Racing Green with biscuit interior is the original that's how it was how it was originally and that's what's on the heritage certificate right. restoration took five years didn't finish it until 2006 apparently there was a two and a half year delay because they wanted some of the wings and body panels made mm. and even back then the company that was making it had to write it give them a letter explaining that because of the lack of skilled craftsmen right. <laughs> at that time it took to almost three years for them to get round to make all the panels that were required for it. Beautiful. But, so I guess so it, it was a full body off restoration, you know, chassis, body, interior retrimmed, all the woodwork uh, redone, engine rebuilt, gearbox. And until I bought it two years ago, it only done 4,000 miles in 10 years since it had been, uh, the restoration had been completed. I like the number plate, so I, I guess this is a 140, is it? It is a 140 drop head. I'm saying that what is, that is, is the original 1955, and that is the original number plate. Yeah. Yeah. You have a look inside. Been very nicely restored, hasn't it? Okay. And the car has been entered into the timeline uh, parade at uh, Roxall. So tomorrow. it's tomorrow, that, yes. in the timeline? Right, well we'll see you later because we're going to the show tomorrow. We'll come and find you. Yeah, the trip up today was just purely to come and see the classic works here. Yeah. You live locally? Uh, no, I've come up from Cornwall. Right. You've driven it up. Have you driven it? Yeah, yes. And the car is now... I live in Penzance and the car in 1964 was in St Ives. So even though it's had that trip all the way to Scotland for restoration <laughs> via <laughs> London and everything, it's now just 10 miles away from where it was almost 60 years ago. Fantastic. Can we have a look inside, uh, under the bonnet? Yeah. Original X, XK engine. It is, yes. Did you go to Chelsley Walsh? Yes, I was, uh, was a, there two weeks ago with a, a knee tight fix head. All oh, right, you didn't take this one. It was having a little bit of work done, they didn't complete it this time. Otherwise, uh, I would have taken that up there as well. Okay. And was your knee tight in the line with the other the 27 knee tights? I didn't go up the, in the well, field. I, I went to the drive, yeah we're passed up in the field, yeah, yeah. but I did the driving school on the Thursday, right. which was seriously good fun, and I did that with the heat. And you went up the uh, hill farm? Yes, we did 12 runs. <laughs> well I, I might have got you on video because I was there. 
No, on the Thursday. Oh no, no, no I think Sunday. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so well, thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Showing us your lovely XK140 outside this classic Jaguar classic restoration. Facility inside, well worth the tour. It's brilliant, and we'll see you at the show tomorrow. Okay, look forward to it. Thank you.